hi guys welcome back to prospect channel tv thank you very much for stopping by there are strong indications that the outcome of last saturday's presidential primary election of the opposition people's democratic party pdp may not have met the expectations of some prominent leaders in southern nigeria including the former president ulise guwaba new telegraph report that a, a former vice president atiku abubaka was declared the winner of the defining primary after pulling 371 votes to defeat his closest rival and the governor of river state Mwike, who garnered 237 impeccable sources who spoke to new telegraph on the condition of anonymity said that an unrepentant, patriotic, and de-tribalized former leader of note, Obras and Job faced strongly that the 2023 presidency should be zoned to the South in the interest of equity, justice, and fairness. It was learned that the former nationalist may have concluded plans to throw his weight behind the presidential candidate of Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi the former governor of Anambra State, who was, until his resignation from the PDP, a frontline presidential hopeful on the platform of the main opposition party. Let me inform you that Chief Obasanjo's possible support for Peter Obi is born out of patriotism and the need for balancing equity and justice, considering the plurality of Nigeria one of the sources said, Foreign investigation revealed that a former governor of Cross River State, named Whithead, has been detailed to governorate support for Obi, whose proven record of achievement as governor of Anambra State, coupled with his shield business sense, have continued to appeal to the former leader of the country. On the 28th May, the former president, Olusegun Guwabasenjo, expressed his unhappiness about the outcome of the presidential primary of the PDP. He has allegedly commissioned a former governor of Cross River State to drive the process of galvanizing support for a southern presidency, Obi being the preferred choice. As a matter of fact, the former governor is under instruction to bring Obi and many aggrieved PDP stewards and interests together. He assured of his total commitment to the project of ensuring the restoration, the realization of a president of Southern extraction for purposes of equity and fair play. I know as fact, I know as a fact that the former president said he was traveling outside the country and that when he returned, he will meet with the strategist including the S. Anambra chief executive. Obi welcomed the proposed support and promised the former president of his commitment to a united, peaceful, and prosperous community, uh, country, I beg your pardon. Another source spoke in similar vein. Meanwhile, pressure seems to be mounting on governor of River State, Chief Nyenso Muike, to contest the outcome of last week's primary. Plans have been perfected to allegedly instigate Mwike to challenge the result of the primaries and courts in order to retrieve the ticket. <laughs> Obasan just said he is no longer into politics, so why is he putting his mouth in politics again? What Obasan is saying here is for you and I to see things as it sounds. It is time for South, preferable Igbo. A patriotic elderly statement, unlike those in the North that see everything with northern eyes, only Obasanjo can foresee the danger in the denial of a president from the South part of Nigeria. Without our apology, if you can't see it, then you are like them, the Fulani oligarchy who believe only them, here, yeah, hair and their head. We will all vote for Atiku Abubakar and he will be our 2023 president of Nigeria, the way we voted for you. 
Hmm. You say you will vote for injustice and unbalanced process. Not we will vote. Not we will finish their ATS tenor and the South need to get their corn by 2023. You are a blindfolded person for saying you will vote for article. Okay, guys, these are reactions by Nigerians. It's getting tougher. Someone said, yeah, when Obasanjo know article very well, he worked with him for eight years, and all article was doing then was to sell Nigerian properties to himself in the name of privatization. Article is a real thief. There is no different from him and Tinubu. Okay, you are talking, my brother. Whether Osibanjo, Obasanjo is supporting Ubi or not, Obi remains the most credible candidate. I have continued to say it that there is no man born of woman that will buy each delegate with $50,000 to win primary election and at the same time promising Nigeria to take them to promised land. To you, but not to others, because we all have our respective choices, and Atiku is my choice. Change your name to Muhammad. Emmanuel is good with you. Let Muhammad be with you, okay? Uh, these are reactions by Nigerians. Someone said, Babao, don't you know the amount of passenger looted and the Nigerian property he converted for his personal use? Oga, I beg, shift go one side. We know they talk of looters here. Hmm. A Latin article who as a result, a recent, as 2022, was having Dubai and the uh, Awokofu properties issues with the with the sixth wife, will be tantamount to to be on ashoning Nigeria to an unrepentant thief with all he did to buy the PDP ticket. Who did we offend? Okay, guys, these are reactions by Nigerians. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much for stopping by. Bye for now.